Tonight, people are complaining about a street takeover in Uptown. These meetups are something CMPD says they've been working to eliminate. As of Friday, the agency has issued 69 citations, arrested nine people, and seized 25 vehicles related to street takeovers that date back to February. Right now, some state lawmakers are getting involved introducing a bill that could crack down on these takeovers. WCNC Charlotte's Jesse Pierre is live in Uptown with more on the bill. Jesse. Yes, well, you know, first off, you know, dozens of people got here uh, to this intersection over the weekend to do car stunts. This is right near the NASCAR Hall of Fame, and it's not the first time it's happened. And police, community members, and state lawmakers say they are tired of it. Now, folks that I spoke to behind the bill say they want to give police more tools to be able to crack down on those meetups. They need to stop doing this and it's it's ridiculous it's completely um it's just it's unnecessary it's dangerous for everyone in the community drivers shutting down traffic for dangerous stunts could face harsher penalties lawmakers are hoping to put an end to street takeovers with house bill 429 which would make them illegal i know the importance of safe vehicle travel. I know what a motor vehicle can do to human life. It's, it's not something that you play with. The bill specifies and defines several stunts, including burnouts, donuts, drifting, and wheelies. But what happens is that when people are caught, in many instances, rather than the police officer prosecuting them as, or writing them up as street racing, they put down speeding or reckless driving so it doesn't show up on the records. And that was one of the things that we, uh, you know, had a problem with. The bill also comes with stiffer fines. Violators would have to pay no less than $1,000. We're starting off with a uh, eight one uh, misdemeanor, so that's going to be um, a longer jail time. They could go up to a class H felony, which is longer jail time. We've asked for increased insurance uh, penalties on this loss of driver's license, loss of the motor vehicle. Spectators would also face charges. People who are doing this for show. They want somebody to see what they do so they can brag about it. So if you're standing there looking at it, then you're participating. The bill is something CMPD says it can get behind. We do support legislation on the state level or ordinances at the at the local level that will give law enforcement some tools to be able to try to combat this, that will um, give some teeth to law to hold people accountable. Lawmakers say they are confident this bill will pass. They say it's about creating safer streets and saving lives. Live in Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte. Jesse, thank you.